Paris, it's uh, 6, p 6 a.m. April 11th, 2023. So I'm recording the video for April 10th, 2023, which is Monday. Okay. So basically, I'm recording the video for for Monday on Tuesday morning. Okay. So going into the day, today is all about refer and backup by seller's area. Overall buyers have a control above 39, 80 and 41, 23. This is the same repeating statement. NFP effects from Friday, you know, Friday we had a uh, holiday period, right? Uh, so market was close. So, so really RTH players did not get to play out the NFP effect, right? So it is going to be reflected today, you know. So I do not want to guess anything and I will stay neutral today and pick up the direction after the opening price action. True buyers will not let the price goes below preferred buyers area. Equal to below that area, we are officially neutral. Right? So here I am saying we'll see neutral today, correct? But also I added one more statement, you know, that true buyers will not let the price goes below preferred buyers area you know so if price is holding above preferred buyers area right then you have to in back of your mind you have to keep in mind that at least buyer have some control over sellers you know and if it goes below it then you are basically officially neutral okay but this is the powerful statement right so let's watch what happens now true buyers will not let go price below this area correct now you can see it even before uh, what was this things man yeah even before open right this was what time was it 7 30 price came straight down there right at that time in the free market like this right it's a straight exhaustion correct now you watch what's going to happen next right slight pullback correct and then another similar flush down which is price came down to here correct so i was observing all these things in the pre-market okay i didn't trade it i said we'll wait till open due to nfp effect right so in this court, you know, what I discuss is that price is doing flush down and little pullback. Flush down and probably here, little pullback. Okay. And this was 8.30 time. Okay. So now you can see it. Little pullback. Right. Now what? What is the next step? See, sometimes on certain days, by looking at the price, you will know the next phase. You know, so so then I said in this call, it will right of the open. You know, it was around eight fifty nine o'clock here. See, look at here like this. See now it's uh, yeah nine twenty five, right? So in this call, what we discuss is this is the pattern: flush down, little balancing, you know, pull back, and then flush down. So I said, based on this pattern, if price has to follow this pattern, then right of the open, 10 point flush down, because it's already balanced here, right? So if it wants to continue the pattern, you will see 10 to 12 point flush down straight into this area, basically, you know? And if it comes there, it will be exhausted by the time. Either it, ex it gets exhausted here already, or if it do like this, it will get exhausted and then we have to pick it up from the whatever happens next right so basically balancing plus down again which is i doubt because now it's already exhausted so balancing back up to this area or this area or even of four if it breaks below this then this area can act as a resistance right so it will bounce back to this this and this area and true sellers based on the overnight right if they are true sellers 
then ideally price will not go above this you know or worst case it will go up to this and get rejection right but by that time day is already trending up correct then you cannot short here why because it's already let's say if it comes from here to go there you know during day trading time frame after balancing it's already trend day up not trend day up but i would say buyers are already in control at that point against the sellers so now it brings the neutrality right trading will be difficult now you understand so even before going into the day i'm explaining you all this thing here you know by just looking at this price exit okay so that is what we discuss in this code so of the open two scenarios balance go to over here or here okay now of the open see that straight plus right here now it's exhausted now i'm expecting what next step is what balancing this is your balancing so that then what then due to this down move this area and this area will act as a resistance once price goes above it you know the day is screwed basically you know because now both sides are active and price had a time to balance it and is slowing slowly doing stair stepping up so that break out pull back break out pull back so that so that was the issue right now both parties are active at this point onwards pretty much you know and that's that's where i in this code i said it's a screwed up day now you know sorry not here but right here which is when in q 1035 that's where i said day is screwed up that means both parties are active now officially which is i think this time this time right here i said both parties are active that means you should stop trading or you will look for both long and short like this short long and depending if it goes above this then definitely long targeting this right or even this if it goes above it target this you know so that's how it is you know step by step so now now let's let's see what happens next right so we open here which is right here right that's a plus down now we know it wants to do balance if it has to continue this pattern and then go down but then it's too much asking right so most likely it may balance go down to here right kind of a false breakdown and then go higher possible right so i was looking for that scenario okay so i shorted it here which is at this point right here because i said in discord 04 06 or 8 9 11 13 can become resistance okay so that was my short in nq 20 was my short you know and then it came down like this so when it came down here like this right i saw hesitation here right in nq was like es was going towards the low almost nq was little bit higher 997 993 that is what i said in nq it's technically a support you know so it's not here but it was real time read so then i realized that nowadays people do front run the zone you know front run the levels to trap other parties because think about it people are waiting for this thing as a target and what if price doesn't get there but instead it reverses they will be stopped out without any profit right so that is what is going on right now you know in this market so i bailed out here you know 70% of it and then rest 30% i held it and i bailed out it here and q i did the same thing you know and that was my trading was over at that point you know and uh, and that's it you know then we watched it then i said if and q goes above 20 you know then the day is screwed up see when when it came down like this i said it should go to 96 98 in es and in q 960 937 at that point onwards if it touches there i have no clue what's going to happen next you know if it would have touched it you know and then price would have gone like this 
I would have been like long, 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 you know. But that thing did not happen, right? So that is, it was unfinished business. That means price may reverse at any point during the day and come back there. So that's why long will be difficult after this. If price does not come back here and for year NQ goes above 13,020, which is this 19 level, then the day becomes screwed up day. That means both parties will be involved and price may come here, may not come back there tomorrow and it will be like messy. So at this point, when NQ went about this, you know, I said day is screwed up, I'm not going to trade now. So after this point onwards, I stopped trading. I was only watching it, you know. Uh, then during lunch time, you know, where I was outside working after, anyway, after 10.46, I was working outside in the gardening, you know, <coughs> because my trading was done here. So now this is after the fact, okay. This trade is after the fact which I did not take it but in this code I said why this trade makes sense so now you know both parties are active right so when both parties are active you cannot go long aggressively higher up let's say so now we miss this lock right so now you cannot go long here so only way you can do is what short at the top right? look for shorts until price pulls back then you go long you know because technically we are still below this area right? so when price was going higher you know I typed it I was gardening it but I was looking at my mobile in between the break so I said here if you look at it see this momentum upside 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 right but then every up thrust has an equivalent down force See, this is not a healthy price action for either side, right? It was, you can say it's a pullback, right? But this was not a healthy price action because you can't rely on this price action or this bias assuming that they will continue higher. Why? Because it was instant down, right? Equivalent point almost, more than half. That is not a healthy move, right? So here also you can see it. It broke out immediately down. Whoever took a breakout, breakout trade, they are gone. Here same thing, see that? Here same thing. So, and that's the nature of the price, you know. So, after this point onwards, see that? It pulled back again, again broke out, right? Then again pulled back. Again, all this thing, and then it was slowly going higher and higher. During that time, if you look at this, momentum was giving up. See? So, it was not like this complete there was a shift in the momentum see that slowly so you need a good eyes you know to watch all this thing because now remember you are looking for shorts in this one of this area you know so now you look here so this is where I said you know good shot here so basically here you know why because when price was going higher 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 this guy was giving up and AD which trended higher it was flat that means there was no momentum to push the price higher you know so then here you can see it minus 600 at this time right around this that was the sign seller stepped in why because they sold it at the top see that so now this could be the potential location to look for short back to the here or back to here okay so when price was like this then there was a follow through see that and look at the momentum now not even close to zero see that lower then price again try to went higher like this and look at the momentum see and then again another flush down see mini flush down see that slight pullback you short that was your short right there so in Q this was a pink line it's powerful line right we always know that so that was a short right here right now you target what this area 20 right so an ES either this or this simple no now this is not a random target here 
so while price was here you know I came back from lunch for the lunch time right so here I said if the morning this buyers are active right because remember now we are neutral so we are expecting buyers to step in at some point and take the price again higher because both sides are active so I said if these buyers are there based on a one minute time frame I said specifically then the responsibility is to hold above 4104 in ES sorry 4106 in ES and NQ they have to defend 13,020 to 13,000 okay at this time I said that at 12 o'clock now I'll show you in discord also so see the timestamp 10:43 a.m. right as I said I said it's a responsibility for one minute buyers to hold above 03 and 20 for NQ right now here also 200 uh, sorry this one 4106 is the responsibility for one minute buyer in yes now to hold it right 06 and 20 03 at 1046 I typed it right so this was around right here when I said screwed up day right so which is 1046 and now you can see it here it came back down after that right and it held it correct so now you know I typed it not after looking at this pulse Right? I, I typed it at here at 1046 that this is a responsibility which is here see that it held it after that right so price came after I said that not before right so so once we know that statement is true now right bias are there second time they may hold it they may not but that said technically their area to defend now look what happened here 06 was here right it slides through it correct in one minute time frame okay now here it did not slice through it see so it's like kind of a level divergence it's a new concept right it's a level divergence so you take profit here for this short right but you do, you can't go long here because it's a second test correct so you have to be careful little bit you no know? so at this point if you look at it momentum was still down right this is was down trending now instead of flat so you cannot go long here <coughs> instead you watch see what this buyer does right so which is this right? 06 so when price slice through it you watch right? but now you cannot even short here similar to the way you cannot go long here because you expect buyers to respond right just good update so you want to see an up move from this lower area right? if the day is daily screwed up so when it came down here right? and then it bounced correct now mini bounce so it may go down also further who knows right so you have to wait then see here it tried to turn this 06 into resistance then it came down right? then it came back up one time second time third time then flush up came down here hold it see this is where you go long stop below 06 and you go long here target this or possibly a little bit higher that's it same time you go long in NQ also you know, which is right around here target this or this dream number see that's how you pick up the trade you know uh, you don't just chase here at the top you know for the longs longs bottom up top selling at the top right so then what happened then we know it's a uh, both parties are active correct so now you don't look for short here you take a profit same thing what we did here right for the short profit long you can take a profit here but you cannot uh, short here it's a second test so you have to go for a fresher area or by that time what was the time almost one o'clock right 12 45 so now this first hour is over right and then it was halfway through 
the day and if price goes above this see now it's a different concept you have to apply now yes the day both parties will be acting but if price look at this size of this move so you have to consider all this thing look at the up move very choppy nasty move right look at this down move straight down so that tells you the sellers are in control okay based on this move look at the amount of time it took to go up versus down so if these guys are active fully you do not want to even see price going above this area ideally correct i'm just forgetting for now that it's a neutral screwed up day but it did correct it went it will go higher then at least it should they should defend this correct but that that doesn't mean i can short here second test i have to wait now look what happened do you see any balancing like this here no right price just slides through like this now at this point buyers are proving that they are in control because not only look at the up move like this versus this so this is a pure new set of buyers came in right and price came straight into pre for buyer area right here at that time so remember i said if it comes up here earlier right now day is kind of a trend up day right or buyers are fully active that means it will try to recover this area where it started all this move at least try to go back here eventually so at this point onwards you should not be shorting it but only look for long at pullback and the way it moved fast it may not even pull back even though if it pulls back here you guys you get you are lucky right into this area you know so see these things so now you can't chase it because remember our idea is neutral day screwed up day right we know buyers are there but we cannot go long here and chase it same thing with nq nq you can actually because nq tend to respond to dream number so nq you can go long here you know at this area dream number but your profit potential is limited due to this resistances you know so after that there is no really trade except this one that you can take you know this one you can take right here because it was sizable pullback so otherwise there is no other trade here even though price moved higher there is no trade like this see it moved higher right but there is no trade here it's a chasing thing you know there was a case here to go long also you know but you know price may come down like this also all the way to here you know and then go higher see my point so it looks good after the fact that hey this was a good trade here but it was not okay and and that be all for today you know and i'll see you tomorrow